Hello everybody and welcome to yet another Premier Guns gun review and today we're going to take a, a quite a closer look at the 88 Elegant Gold. Now the reason I've chosen the 88 Elegant Gold is it's probably one of our best sellers. Aside from the Super Sport which we've already had a look at which is a bit more of a clay orientated gun the, the Elegant Gold comes in a, as, as more of an all-rounder uh, for somebody that might want to shoot clays but might want a, the odd game day, a nice looking gun to go on the peg. And for anybody looking to start out in the sport or maybe for a, a second gun, a guest gun even, you just can't beat them for value for money. Here we've got two models. We've got the 80 Elegant Gold Sporter and we've got the 88 Elegant Gold Field. Now, the actual mandrels of all 88s is pretty much the same. The action in the barrels, uh, aside from cosmetics, don't really differ, which, which is good because ultimately that means that 88 can manufacture and keep the cost low down because they're not changing the machining process a number of times. With this particular gun, we'll start with the Sporter. We have got this almost kind of white silver finish on the action. It's not a chrome kind of finish, it's not a brushed finish, it's not what you would call uh, a coin finish, what you would get on a, an English gun traditionally. It's this kind of almost like tin foil, white silver action. Long side plates, uh, nicely inletted with this kind of twisty scroll work with, with pheasants. Uh, I mean, if you look closely, it looks like the pheasants are trying to fight their way out of spaghetti, but I don't think that's the case. I mean, cosmetically, this gun looks like it costs thousands. And I'm not just saying that, it does. If you put this against a gun costing four or five times as much, it won't look that different, you know, from 10 or 15 yards. So on the Sporter, we have got a matte finish. Uh, so matte finish, ventilated barrels. Now these in the Sporting version are available in 28, I believe, 30 and 32. We tend to mainly stop the 30 inch because we feel at the price point that's where we, we believe is the, um, is the most popular model. Also, when you have a, um, a gun that's manufactured at a lower price in a longer barrel length, it can compromise the balance. Whereas this particular gun, 30 inch barrels, I think it weighs seven pound 15 ounces. You know, the balance is ever so slightly forward of the hinge pin, which again, for the price is incredible. Just to touch on the difference now between the game and the sporting model, the difference primarily is in the barrels. So with the game version of the Elegant Gold, you've got a slightly narrower rib, which I believe is seven millimeters. It's not ventilated. I think a lot of it is just to do with aesthetics. You know, it's a game gun, it's a little bit sleeker without the holes in, and it just looks nicer. And to add on that, you've got gloss finished barrels rather than matte. Again, on a, on a traditional game gun, you would have high gloss barrels because you're not really worried about the glare of a pheasant at 50 yards. Um, multi choke, same sight bead, which is unusual because you would normally expect a brass bead, which we can, we can put a brass bead in no problem if you wish. And at the other end, this has got a automatic safety, which on the Sporter, you don't get. And then we move on to what is really, with this model, the game changer. So this is, I believe, grade 2.5 stroke 3 Turkish walnut, but you can't help but be amazed by the quality of the wood on these shotguns. So one of the things to point out when we're talking about the woodwork is you've got this sort of quite nice double point checker, which again is what you would expect to find on, on most open under shotguns these days. But with a side plate, you can sometimes have uh, a compromise in the strength of the wood. So you can see the wood on both of these guns is very straight in the grain, very very strong in the head, which, you know, uh, they've been specifically selected to go on a side-plated gun, which, again, when you consider the price point of these, is incredible. This is a Sporter, so it's a little bit deeper in the pistol grip. It's got the nice Pacmire style. Um, rubber recoil pad on the back and the fore end, as with all ATAs, is this standard sort of semi beaver tail stroke schnabel mix. So you've got a schnabel lip, push button, but you've also got this nice fluted semi beaver tail bit to, uh, to put your hand in and, and give you a good bit of grip. To finish off, nice bit of detail on the top lever. You've got a 
uh, a selector, selects the barrels. And and that's it pretty much. They come in a cardboard box, we can supply it with a case if you wish, but for the money, I, I just can't help but be amazed by these. We sell so, so many of them because under a thousand pounds, there's just nothing to touch it. You know, we're for a new gun with a warranty, so many features that's gonna progress with shooting, with the steel shot proofing, the three inch chambers, the multi choke. So that's it. You've got two guns here. They're gonna cover a multitude of different purposes for an awful lot of people. And at the same time, they look absolutely fantastic. So that pretty much in a nutshell, is the Elegant Gold. There's a lot of other guns in the range. They're all quite similar, although they do differ cosmetically. Come and see them at Premier Guns. We've got loads, we've got demos. We'll fit the gun to you. You can go and shoot it. And, uh, and that's about it. All right, guys, that's a wrap on the ATA Elegant Gold. If you've got any questions, you can email us, you can comment below the video. Just to point out, we are expecting this in a 20 gauge before the end of 2021, which is quite exciting. Um, so if you would like to reserve one, give us a call, drop us an email, whatever you like. And uh, hit the subscribe button, keep watching the videos, and uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you again.